Hello and welcome back to another cubing video. So today we're gonna figure out which Scube flagship is the best out of these three. So let's get right into it. And before we get into it, definitely make sure to like and subscribe for more high quality content like this. I upload every week, so make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications to not miss out on any of my videos. Let's get right into the comparison. All right, so I'm gonna compare all these three cubes, and at the end of this video, you should get an idea of which one is best or which one may be better to buy for your money um, or which one is just best overall in my opinion. So let's get right into that. So starting off, the prices of these three cubes vary a lot. Like, <laughs> okay, all the way from $13.95 at speedcubeshop.com to $31.95 at speedcubeshop.com. So huge price difference. And then this one's also $18.95 as well. Of course, you can use the discount code daily to save money on your orders and get the cubes at a discount price. But yeah, so those are the prices. And do keep in mind that the GAN Magnetic Cubes do have a standard edition as well. This is the enhanced version, so it's $10 more expensive, but it does have a more stable magnetic positioning system. However, there is a standard version that's a, uh, about $10 less, though the magnets aren't quite as snappy, if you would say. So um, that is another option if you don't want the, just the best uh, version of the game Magnetic Cube. The Wingy came out in 2017, the Allianz Cube came out in late 2018, and the GAN Magnetic Cube came out in late 2020. So definitely a lot of variation with the age of these puzzles. Uh, then for weight, this one is comes in at about 3.4 ounces. This one comes in at about 3.3 ounces. And then the Gans Cube is the lightest out of the bunch coming. I'm pretty sure it's under three ounces, which is a huge difference between these two cubes there. So it definitely has a much more overall light feeling because of that. And then for size, all of these cubes are very similar in size. However, the Allianz cube is one millimeter bigger than both of these two cubes coming in at 57 millimeters. Now, these two cubes uh, seem like they are about 56 millimeters. However, with the concave design of the wingy, it definitely seems smaller. Um, as you can see there, the, the concaveness of the wingy cube kind of sheds some of the size off of it. And so it seems because of the spikes, it's more like 56 millimeters. However, it has indents that the Gans cube doesn't have. And that brings me to the grip systems of all three of these cubes. Now, the Allianz cube is the only cube out of these three cubes that actually comes with two different choices. So you can take off the center caps and replace them with just a flat uh, cap. So as you can see there, it's pretty easy. And you have the choice between this type of indent hole and just flat like the Gans cube comes with. And then the wingy is the only one with a concave design. And I do really like the concave design. It's very unique in that way. And it was, I think it was the first cube to come out with a an actual grip design for speed solving. So. That does make this cube unique. However, the GAN Magnetic Cube does not come with a grip design at all, and it's just flat. Now, I would personally argue, while it may be useful to have some sort of grip, GAN did not come out with that. I don't know why they didn't, but it still works very well either way, especially because of how controllable and flexible it is. And I think it makes it up for the magnetic positioning system of this cube. So the GANS cube doesn't come with a grip system. Now to compare the feelings of these three cubes, they all have their own unique feeling and the wingy is more of a basic sort of just a uh, full feel. And then the Aoyan is a little bit more complex. So. It does have quite a bit of a mechanism inside and with the huge indents, it feels like, uh, it definitely makes for a unique experience. And I do find myself locking up here and there just because of the hard corners, uh, but it's not quite as smooth as the wingy cube overall. And then the, the Gans cube, like this, I, I really do like the Gans cube here. So it's kind of a mix between the wingy cube but more along the lines of the Allianz cube. It has a more 
complex mechanism inside from the feeling of the outside. But it has a very soft and airy and very controllable feel to it. And it just works really, really nicely. And the feeling of the Gans cube is my favorite out of all three of these cubes here. Now to take a look at the mechanisms of these three cubes. So let's pop an edge and maybe a corner out of the each one. Now, starting off with the magnetic positioning system of these three cubes. Now, the Wingy Cube has magnets in the corners and the centers of the pieces, whereas the Alion has them like on, in the corners, but at the feet of the corners, if you can see that there. And then the Gans Cube has it not only in the centers and the corners, but also in the middle of the cube, as you can see right there. That makes for a much more stable feel, and I really do enjoy the GAN magnetic positioning system the most out of the three cubes by far. Now, one thing that I do think is very important to note is how these three cubes um, connect to each other. I mean, how the mechanisms and anti-friction designs actually work. Now, the wingy cube has a very soft feel, but that comes from very soft plastic rubbing against each other, as far as I can see. Um, it does have a little bit of an air pocket there, but as you can see, it's not the greatest. Um, and that I'm pretty sure goes along with the uh, center to centers as well. Now, for the Allianz Cube, it's a little bit better, and there is a little bit of room to move. However, as you can see there, that adds controllability, but it also takes away from uh, anti-friction and that little notch right there. So it the extra bit of size in that ledge may add controllability. However, I think it may also increase the friction as well. So it's a great mechanism. However, it also do, is a little bit more complex. And so it does lock up a little bit more. And then on to the GAN mechanism. Now, this thing, of course, the magnets are much stronger with the GAN. And then, uh, as you can see here, so the hole where that little edge ledge goes is much bigger than the ledge itself. And thus, that creates an anti-friction design. Not only that, but on the corners, you have all these holes. Let me get it to focus here. It has all these holes, which actually help with an anti-friction uh, design there. Not only that, but it also has a hex anti-friction design on the pieces. And so that also helps with the anti-friction design of the pieces rubbing against each other. And so I do think this is a much longer lasting cube in terms of getting gunked up after several thousand solves. Whereas the wingy, I've actually, this is my second wingy that I've bought. And that is because my first wingy just got so slow, even after setting it up, that it, it wouldn't really work that well anymore. And this thing is sort of starting to do that as well. So I really do like the anti-friction design that Gan uh, came up with. And I think it really will help in the long run. And it definitely helps for a nice, airy, controllable, and fast design. And do keep in mind that the Gan Cube is actually the only one here with not just a, a tensioning system, but also a spring compression system as well. So this thing has uh, several different settings that you can move around. You can tension the springs and the puzzle itself, which is super nifty and it creates a whole variety of different feelings that you can set on this cube. So I really do enjoy that as well. This is of course in contrast with the Wingy and the Aoyun's screw and spring system. And that's all they have. So you can't really get as much of a flexible feeling out of these two cubes. And then for the final thing that I will be comparing is the shades. So I do like the shades on the Gans cube the most. And the, these two cubes kind of have light, lighter shades, slightly different of course. Uh, but the green is just kind of pale and the orange is slightly pale on both of them. However, the orange on here is much more distinct and then the green is also much more distinct. And the red is br brighter, but the blue is basically the same. Um, but yeah, I really do enjoy the shades on the Gans Cube as well. And this is kind of my uh, reasoning to why 
the uh, the GAN Scube is my favorite overall Scube on the market right now. And I think it is the best Scube on the market by far. I would say if you're just getting into Scube, the Wingy Scube is always a safe bet. However, if you have the money, I would definitely go for the GAN Scube. If you don't want to spend $30, you can always spend $20 instead on the GAN Standard Edition. I'm not exactly sure how different it is, is but is, if it's quite close to this, it's still going to be one of the best cubes on the market anyway. But for the overall best cube, I would definitely recommend the GAN Magnetic Cube Enhanced. Uh, and that is my final opinion. And yeah, so that was my comparison on these three cubes. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I will see you in the next video.